Let's take a look at the Chicago real estate market to see what homes are really selling for. Today, we're going to look online all over the city of Chicago. We're talking the north side, west side, south side, and we're going to take a look at some examples of single family homes that are for sale in today's market. We're also going to take a look at the estimated mortgage payments for these homes so you can see how much you have to come up with per month to afford a home in Chicago. If you're looking for a customized list of properties for sale in the Chicago area, please feel free to email me what you're looking for and I'll be happy to send you one. Otherwise, let's start looking at home. Now let's see how much it really costs to buy a home in Chicago. Now if you know Chicago, you know that depending on which side of the city you are, home prices can be very different. So let's take a look at each part of the city. Let's start on the south side first. So we'll go south and let's just zoom in. Let's see what we can find. Let's see if we can find a good move in ready house and see what it looks like. So, okay, right now we're at 320,000 on 7822 South Emerald. This one looks pretty good. Let's check it out. Okay, this one's active. Let's see the pictures. And the pictures looking pretty good. I like the fireplace. Okay, hardwood floors look good. Living room, got the open concept, living room, dining room combo. All right, you got the kitchen, got the gray cabinets. Okay. This looks pretty good to me, pretty well updated. Second floor looking good, basement. Basement looking clean. And yeah, it looks like a pretty good space. Now, let's take a look at everything else. So we got 320, three bedrooms, two bathrooms. Now, from there, it looks like a pretty good move-in ready home. How much would it cost to actually buy it? What would your monthly mortgage be? So to estimate that, all we have to do is Google Mortgage Calculator with taxes. So first, we'll type in the home price, which is 320000 And of course, I forgot to mention, make sure to always include taxes and fees because that's very important. So next, go to down payment. And our down payment, if we're using an FHA loan, is going to be 3.5%. Now, as far as the interest rate is, let's check to see what today's interest rates are. And I normally check on a website called MortgageNewsDaily.com. And then you go to 30-year fixed, and it's at 7.07%. So let's go right back here, 7.07%. And the property taxes, which is important, let's check those out. All right, so we see the annual tax amount is $32.56. So let's put that in here. 32.56 and that'll be it. So your estimated monthly mortgage for this will be 26.88, so about 2700. Now let's see what else we can find. So let's zoom out. Let's go to maybe another part of the south side. Let's see if we can go see if we can get closer to the lake. See if we can find over here. See if we can find something. All right, for 280 what can you get for 280,000? So you got 7133 South Constance. And okay, this one looks pretty nice on the inside. So far, let's check the rest of the pictures. Outside looks good. Inside, everything looks finished. Okay, got the bathroom. Got the kitchen. I mean, this looks move-in ready to me, pretty much. Basement, okay, there's no flooring in the basement, but it does have drywall up. But okay, so now we've got this one for 280,000, so this one's less than 300. Let's see what the mortgage will be for this. So let's type in 280 for the home price and the down payment interest rate will stay the same. The only other thing we need now is the property taxes. Go back to Zillow, the property taxes for this one is 1400, so that's pretty cheap for Chicago anyway. So we'll put 1400 and your total monthly payment for this one would be 2200. So they do have move in ready homes under 300,000 on the south side. Okay, so it looks like if you're between, you know, 250 and 350, you can get a pretty nice move in ready home on the south side. Now let's go further west. Let's check out Let's check out around, let's check out around Midway. See how much it costs to get a, a nice home around the Midway area. So, okay, we've got one that just came on the market for 275. Oh, that's a nice looking bungalow. 
for 275 let's see what it looks like on the inside because the outside looks gorgeous got that blonde brick you get inside and it's uh yeah it's older condition this one is not a rehab you got the old school chandelier which i'm sure is older than me got the nice vintage kitchen doesn't look that bad though honestly it looks functional so for people who like this more old school vintage style i this might be the home for you but it does need a little work you can see right there i'm not sure what's happening in this corner right there it looks like there was some water damage at one point but yeah this one definitely has an older look to it it's not updated but for 275 it might be worth checking out all right, let's see what else they got around. Let's see what 359 will get you. Okay, let's take a look at these pictures. Looks nice on the outside. On the inside, now once again, this isn't a brand new rehab because obviously people are living here, but the condition does look pretty good. Yeah, I'd say just based on the just based on the cabinets, and you guys let me know what you think, but based on this uh, this cherry wood color, it was probably updated somewhere between like 2000 and 2010, because this was kind of the style that was going back then. But yeah, everything looks good in this home. Everything looks functional. Okay, and that's, that's at 360. So it looks like if we're going closer to midway, we're going to have to pay a little bit more money. Let's try... 419 let's see what we can get because we haven't seen the brand new rehab yet and it looks like we found one so for 420 got a nice brick bungalow and yep here we go here's your uh, brand new rehab everything in here looking good they didn't go with the gray color they went with more of a, a light blue okay nice to switch it up sometimes yeah, the basement finished. Everything looks good in here. So let's see how much the mortgage will be for this home. So the price we've got 420000 Then down payment, interest rate will be the same. Now we need to look up the property tax. So the annual tax amount for this property would be around 3600 So we'll put in 3600 and your estimated monthly payments would be $3,473, which pretty much $3,500 a month. So that's how much you would have to pay to be closer to Midway. Now, it looks like in Midway, once again, you can find a move-in ready home, but it'll be a little bit older condition. You can find it maybe around $300,000, but if you want that brand new, you're over $400,000. Now, I know a lot of people are probably going to wonder about Hyde Park, and there aren't a ton of single-family homes in Hyde Park. In Hyde Park, they're mostly going to be condos, so that's going to be for another video. I'm going to stick to single-family homes in this video, but just you can get a quick example of how much it will cost to have a single-family home in the Hyde Park area, you're definitely over a million. And that's pretty much anywhere... Yeah, anywhere in these areas, except for this one for 450. Hold on, let's click on this. Maybe we find a nice little deal. Okay, 4137 Ellis. Oh, okay. I've seen uh, every once in a while you'll see a home in this area, but you don't see them too often. And it looks pretty nice. Okay. Wow, what do you think of this cabinet? Of these cabinets what do you think of the the cherry red floors with oh, I'm sorry the Brazilian cherry that's probably what they call it with the with the zebra cabinets let me know what you guys think of this design let me know what you guys think of this design they got the Brazilian cherry floor with the black and white cabinets uh, that's a new one haven't seen that before but besides that you know All right, let's get, all right, let's take, all right, let's see what it looks like on the inside. It doesn't look too bad. And okay, you got the, oh wow, look at this. You got the Brazilian cherry floor with the black and white cabinets. Let me know what you guys think of this kitchen design. That's a new one for me. But the home looks pretty functional. Everything looks good, move in ready. 
and for 450000 that's not a bad price if you ask me because the rest of the homes to get in this area, as you can see, are around a million. So there you have it. All right, next let's take a look at the west side, see what the west side has to offer. But let's start, let's start with Little Village since we're here already, see what we can get over here. So for 300 k see what this gets us. And it looks like it gets us a, a black floor. Uh, okay, this looks like, yeah, I don't know what it is. It just looks real dark. Let's see what else we got in the little village. So, we got 245, 215, 250. Let's see the, uh, let's see the 250. So, this will get you, okay, definitely not updated, but looks like it could be move-in ready. It looks like livable condition. People are living here. Okay, you got a, it'll need some cosmetic work. Got, needs a little paint job. And then the basement was just ripped out to the studs, I guess. It looks like maybe at one point they thought of finishing it, but then uh, just went back on that. So, okay, so that's 250000 It gets you pretty much a fixer-upper. And, yeah, I really don't see anything else. Uh, we can try this one for two ninety five to see if this is a... Uh... Okay, this one looks brand new. Looks like it's been recently renovated. Okay, we don't have any pictures of the outside, but on the inside, it looks pretty good. Yep, okay, so you have to get closer to 300000 and you can get something. Uh, it has the swimming pool. All right, got it. So if you go closer to 300000 you can get something renovated in Little Village. Let's go further north let's look in lawndale i don't think we'll have too many single family homes in uh, north lawndale i know there are a lot of two flats a lot of two to four unit properties but let's see what we can find let's uh let's start with this one for 270. see what this looks like 1825 and uh, that picture looks old okay let's see what else we got and nothing all right what else do we have? I'm gonna guess all of these are rehab. So let's let's see this one. It says it's for me, so three hundred and ten thousand. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, this is a nice single family home. They went with the red color. Kitchen looks move in ready. Floors look nice. Cabinets look nice. Okay, got the living room area. Yeah, this. This definitely looks like it's in pretty good condition. This is uh, 310,000, three bedroom, two bathroom, so not too bad. Got the unfinished basement. So let's cross over, let's go further west to the Austin neighborhood. Let's see what we can buy. Let's go, what can we get for 275 in the Austin neighborhood? And this one, okay, looks like an older building on the inside. Okay, the first picture, you see is pretty much a door you got a staircase yeah, it's definitely older it needs some cosmetic work or well, just painting really the condition is older but everything looks functional and while uh, well the kitchen cabinets don't have any uh doors at the bottom so hey makes it easier for you to see if you got a leak or not but yeah the kitchen's definitely older so yeah 275 will get you a property in older condition so far Let's see if maybe it was just that one, or let's try another one for, let's try this one for 280. This one just had a price drop, and this one, okay, looks looks a little bit more updated. And not too much. It looks like they updated the floor, but the cabinets are probably older than me. You got the, the kitchen or the uh, stove just kind of sitting in the middle of the wall there. But it does look clean. I will give it that. It definitely looks clean. All right, gotcha. So you can get something for under three hundred thousand. It's just going to be a little bit older. What about something that's brand new rehab? It looks like if we're in the Austin neighborhood, we're going to have to pay a little bit more. So let's try three seventy-five. What can we get? Will this get us updated? Uh 
Let's go here. Let's. Okay, the porch not bad. Okay, see this isn't bad. Pretty good at all. They zoomed in on the faucets, letting you know the gold. Look at that light fixture. It's important to you know highlight that. But everything looks okay. Another picture of you know the the fixture. The house itself does look good though. Looks updated. Basement, at least that one part looks finished. Okay, as far as the camera angles, I'm not too sure, but the home itself looks good. And that's three bedrooms, two bathrooms. All right, so it looks like if you get closer to 400,000, you can get something rehab. All right, let's see. Let's get one more example. Let's let's try this one out for 440. 5832 West Iowa. For 440 and oh you get the I don't even know what color carpet that is that got the light brown okay definitely definitely older school kitchen was probably updated in uh somewhere between 95 and 05 I would say then we've got bathroom I mean, you can move in and live in it, honestly. It's pretty clean. Everything looks clean, functional, ready to go. It just, you know, it hasn't been updated for a while, I would say. Wow, I haven't seen a mirror like that in a long time. My grandmother used to have a mirror like that. Wow. But, I mean, oh, okay, you got the epoxy on the floor in the basement. That looks pretty cool, actually. But the home, I'd say it's a it's a nice moving ready home. And is that a sauna? That looks like a sauna to me. Ah, so that's how they're trying to get that 440. I mean, I haven't seen a sauna yet. All right, I know I said that was it, but what about this one for 500,000? What what a 500,000 give me? And then, uh, here you go. Here's your nice brand new rehab. Got got your open concept. Got the recessed lighting. Everything looking clean. Yep, so yeah, it looks like uh, the west side, especially the further north you go, the more expensive it gets. Well, I mean, that's kind of, that's kind of how Chicago is, period. But just from looking around, I would say the west side is a little bit more expensive. The south side, you might be able to find something good for... You know, between 300 and 350, you can find a nice updated rehab property. It looks like for the west side, you're going to have to pay a little bit more. You're going to have to be closer to 400 or even 500,000, depending on how far north you go. Now, let's go a little bit east of Austin. Let's check out Humboldt Park. See what we got for sale over here really quick. You know, see what stuff is going for. Let's try this one. 329. We got a two-bedroom, two-bathroom. 428 West Potomac. And okay, doesn't look too bad on the outside. Yep, looks pretty clean, pretty move in ready. Got the gray cabinets, got the uh, that gray laminate flooring that seems to be very popular nowadays. Even got the deck upstairs. Okay, this looks like a pretty good property. Yeah, it looks move in ready, a nice starter home. All right, but it looks like for Humboldt Park, we're gonna have to gonna have to go over the I would say the 500k mark to to find something brand new renovated. So let's see what. See about this one for 537.9. And okay, looks pretty decent on the outside. The inside, okay, looks this is a bit more updated. You got the recessed lighting, the hardwood floors look good. You got the newer kitchen with the island. So it looks like in Humboldt Park, we're seeing a pretty big difference in price. So if you're around the 350 price range, you get more of that as is type home. But if you want something more updated, it looks like you're going to have to be closer to 500,000. Yep, because I'm looking around, I either see stuff for, you know, 340 or you see 500, 600K. So that might be, uh, that might be something for investors. If you're looking for somewhere where, uh, you can get some equity, you know, buy one of these as is homes for, you know, maybe 200, put some work into it. And then if you want to resell it as brand new renovated, you can get close to half a million.
All right, now let's take a look at the north side of Chicago. And if there's one thing you should know about Chicago, as a general rule, the further north you start getting, the more expensive the homes and the prices in general start getting. Especially once you cross North Avenue, which is right here. Once you cross North Avenue, you, you can see it right here. You see properties in Humboldt Park, which we just looked at, you know, 600K. You cross North Avenue, all of a sudden, 998. Let's go a little bit further west. Let's look at the northwest side. So let's look west of 90 because you'll find more bungalows there, whereas the further east you start going, the more expensive stuff gets. So the closer to the lake, the more expensive stuff gets as well. So let's check out, let's check out this home in Portage Park. So 650, let's see what 650 gets you. Oh, looks like it gets you a pretty nice bungalow. Okay. You've got, yeah, everything looks updated. Okay. This is, this is brand new. Oh, is this virtually staged? Oh, these chairs aren't real. I just feel deceived. Every time I see virtually staged photos and then I see the real picture, I just, I just feel deceived. I don't know. But anyway, the, uh, the home looks pretty good. Bathrooms, everything's updated. All right, now let's let's work our way east. Let's see what we can. Let's see what we can find in uh, Irving Park. So okay, we've got 500k and we've got 1.15. So let let's start with the 500k. Let's see what we get. We got four bedrooms, two bathrooms. A pretty big looking home. Actually, got the nice huge square addition on the top. And the inside, the inside looks nice. Yeah, it looks nice to me. Okay, that now the kitchen is old. The kitchen looks like it hasn't been renovated in a while. Yep, kitchen's definitely old school style. Something going on with that ceiling. That might just be peeling paint, but you got the uh, fluorescent lighting. Vintage kitchen, if you will. But I mean, the bedrooms, the hardwood floors look good. The walls look good. Oh, check out this bathroom with the uh, with the square glass. Look at that. that looks pretty cool. And then you've got, okay, you've got the basement. Yeah, it looks like somebody's lived here a little while, but it looks like, looks like they've taken care of the home. You even, you even got the swimming pool. All right, so that, that's 500K. 500K, it gets you something as is. 5K, it gets you something with a little older kitchen. So let's, okay, let's not, let's not do the, uh, the million dollar property yet. Let's, let's look at 619. Let's see what 619 gets you. Okay, this home also looks pretty big. So yeah, they do have some uh, nice size homes in the uh, Irving Park neighborhood. This one's... Looks good on the outside so far. And the inside, okay, did not disappoint. Hardwood floor is looking good, floor painted. Okay, this, this kitchen's definitely more updated, I would say. Appliances, that dishwasher's new at least. That countertop, yeah, that, that's laminate, that's, that's not quartz, that's laminate. It's all right though, it's all right. Let's keep going. Basement finished. Got the pool table, but I got trust issues now, so I don't even know if this pool table is real or if it's virtually staged. All right, we're going upstairs. Got the uh, fresh carpet. So it doesn't have the most expensive amenities. It isn't the most updated, but it's definitely a little bit cleaner than the last one we saw. And once again, it's definitely move-in ready, you know? But that that was six hundred thousand. Let's see. Let's see one point three million that they were, that they're saying is for me. Let's see if this one's really for me. And I'm not gonna lie. When I clicked on it, I was expecting a bigger home. Okay. I mean, it does look nice on the inside, but I mean, this is one point three. Well, it definitely has the uh, expensive amenities. You can tell by the kitchen. It had anytime you see that built-in fridge, that's probably about ten thousand dollars right there, just on a the refrigerator. So yeah, they definitely put some money into this. You got 
You got the double sink island. Oh, snap. Yeah, this this one has the amenities. I mean, if you're going to spend over a million dollars on a home, this is what you can get. But, you know, let me let me know what you guys think. What is this worth the uh 1.295 to you or would you go with the uh $600,000 home? Let me know. All right, now let's go a little bit further east and let's check out let's check out Albany Park because I know you can find some uh, pretty reasonable homes here. So, 450k. Let's see what you can get. Okay, get a brick home. It doesn't look too bad. Looks good to me so far. The flooring looks good. Now you do have radiators. But everything else is looking pretty nice to me so far. The kitchen looks good to me. Isn't the brand new updated style with the uh, with the white cabinets, but it still does look good. Once again, it's functional. It's move-in ready. Looks like a pretty nice home to me. Looks like they kept it up very well. And that's for 452 on the north side. I don't know, there might be some deals in Albany Park. All right, let's go with, let's see what 615K gets me. So 615, okay, that'll get you, this home looks pretty nice. It isn't a brick home, it's siding, but it's definitely more updated on the inside. So you got the uh, the quartz countertops in this one and the cabinets are newer, the, the good shaker cabinets, the new style. And you upstairs, it looks clean. Yep, this one is nice. Now, I am wondering how much is a mortgage, how much is a mortgage payment for 615 for a home that costs now I am wondering what is the mortgage payment for a home that costs six hundred fifteen thousand. So let's go. Let's put that home price in. Now you might have a little bit. I don't quite remember off the top of my head what the FHA limit is for a single family home, but you know, just in case I'm gonna go conventional, and with conventional it normally requires a five percent down payment at least. So we're gonna go with the uh, 5%, which will put your down payment at almost $31,000. $31, and we've got our interest rate now for our property taxes. So if you want a nicely renovated home on the north side, looks like this is the payment that you'll have to come up with. Uh, last but not least, let's go a little bit further east toward the lake. Let's see what these homes are selling for. Now, let's say you want to live... Let's go... Let's say you want to live... Say you're a Cubs fan and you want to live close to uh, Wrigley Park. Let's see what we can get. So for 990,000, four bedroom, four bathroom. Okay, looks like a uh, two flat that was changed to a single family home. Definitely has that old school vintage feel. Have the grand piano, you got the nice fireplace. The woodwork looks very nice. Okay, well, look at that staircase. Now, okay, you got the old radiators. Let's see what else we got. We got the nice built-ins. Yeah, definitely has that vintage charm, which honestly I would leave as part of the property because, you know, that's hard to find nowadays, especially in good condition. Then you've got the kitchen. You've got the uh, the mahogany cabinet. So I'd say it was probably updated in the 2000s. That's, that's around the time when that was in style to do. But overall, the home doesn't look bad. It's it's move-in ready. But you have to remember, oh, this looks like a second kitchen. Okay. So is this really a two-unit property or they're just listing it as a, a single-family home? Oh, you got the, the skylights in the uh, on the second floor. That's nice. And then, and of course... Have to advertise, <laughs> have to put it in your list and at hey, Cub Stadium, because at the end of the day, this is what you're paying for. You're paying for that location. 